In 2014 was a very interesting year for the world economy. We saw carbon emissions stall despite the fact that the world economy grew. Now that's the first time that that's happened in modern history. If you look at Southeast Asia, however, carbon emissions are still rising and there's been uh, very large increases in carbon emissions in Indonesia and Thailand in particular. Um, there, carbon emissions are seven times greater per capita than they were in 1970. So there's still a huge way to go in these regions before they're on the green growth path. Is it all manufacturing or is it as well the infrastructure of public transportation isn't in place as well to meet rising demand of a growing, wealthier demographic? Well, it's a, it's a mixture of factors. Um, as these economies develop and, and they shift away from agriculture to manufacturing and pollution's increasing, um, but at, at, over time, the, this pollution um, should diminish as, as the economies move from manufacturing to services and as they move from lower value added manufacturing such as commodities extraction to higher value added manufacturing such as production of electric vehicles. Um, in countries such as Thailand, you are, you are seeing the government actively working to incre increase its role in, um, in sectors such as electrical vehicle production. So I think economic development will reduce pollution but po government needs to intervene as well and encourage uh, the growth of these, of these greener industries. What does this all mean for economic outlook for these nations? Well, we remain of the view that ASEAN is going to remain one of the fastest growing regions in the world. Um, the fundamentals in these economies are still very strong. Um, they're relatively competitive. Um, countries such as Singapore are still very tax competitive. And also a number of countries in the region benefit from a relatively young population. So countries such as Indonesia are going to benefit from uh, the so-called demographic dividend over the coming years, which is going to lead to um, sustained strong growth. All right, top performers in the region in your view. I mean, we've seen some pretty stellar growth from Vietnam and Philippines. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, so we think Philippines and Vietnam are going to see the strongest growth this year. They're, they're going to expand by about 6% um, in terms of GDP in 2015. We think Thailand's going to underperform, and this reflects some of the political problems in the country and also the fact that a lot of investment plans are, are taking a long time to come through in, in Thailand. So Thailand's going to be the weakest performer out of the major ASEAN economies. And politically, uh, uh, on a policy level, what is the commitment to not only growth, but quality of growth? Well, it's difficult because um, it, it's, hard for, it's hard for governments to do these things unilaterally. Um, if, if one country develops a, a greener agenda, there's always an incentive for another country to carry on polluting. So I think what we really need is more collaboration um, between governments in the region to, to work together to address some of these um, significant pollution problems.